Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the first grade concept of supertizing, or instantly recognizing the quantity of items in a structured arrangement, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So supertizing is a fancy word, but it is something that simply means, rather than counting, can you instantly recognize how many dots are in this pattern. So we see this pattern here. And there are many different ways that we can see that it's five. Uh, one way would be to kind of split this up and say, well, that's two and that's three. So that, that could work and you could say two and three make five. Or maybe you kind of looked at it uh, like those two and then those three. But that's what subitizing is, a scene, a structured arrangement. Like, so here's another example. When we're rolling dice, when we see this, we should see this instantly as four without having to count one, two, three, four. Having to count one, two, three, four takes a little bit of time. But if we could recognize that we've got these four dots in a square shape, then that means four. And that's going to help us do math a lot quicker. Uh, just like this, here is another subitizing example. So that should be instantly recognized as three because you've got a triangle shape. And triangles have three sides. Now here's one that's a little bit bigger. See what we can do with this one. So we've got this. And rather than counting, let's see if we can subitize this as nine. Probably what you did is you probably took the rows and you skip counted by threes, three, six, nine. You might have done that with the columns. So here's another example. If you were to take this right here, most of us would recognize that. So if we add one more, that also helps us as seven. See, most of us understand this right here. We play games with dice. And when we see two columns of three, we see this as six. So when we add that one more, we also see that as seven. And one final example of subitizing with dots, and then we're going to start looking at something else, is going to be this right here. So how could we subitize this? Well, we can say there's three, and there's three, so that's six. And then if I add two more, I'm going to get my eight. So if your eyes start to see that you've got six, and then you've got two more, then you can get eight. Let's look at another example. Now we have a screen full of 10 frames, and you'll be using 10 frames a lot in first grade. And this is something that is going to be very helpful to subitize or to be able to recognize instantly. So when you see the top row of a 10 frame filled in, rather than counting one, two, three, four, five, it is a 10 frame. So if you have half of it, then you're going to have five. So if you have, for instance, all but one of the top row, then rather than counting one, two, three, four, then you could think, well, the top row is five, so one less than five is going to make four. So that's what supertizing is, is instantly recognizing. Just the same, if you see that you've got the top row filled in plus one more rather than minus one, now you need to think, well, the top row is 5, so 1 more than 5 is going to be 6. Now, this is probably the most um, easy supertizing activity that you could have, is if you ever see a 10 frame like this one I just filled in. This is a completed 10 frame, and the number of dots is in the name. It's a 10 frame. You've got two rows of 5. And so 5 and 5, you see this, you should instantly think 10. That is a completed 10 frame. And just like we were using the top row to kind of figure out what was the amount when we were close to filling in the top row, now let's use the completed 10 frame to try to figure out what this one in the top right is. A completed 10 frame is 10, and this is one less, which means that's going to be 9. We could do the same thing if we see a 10 frame that looks like this. A completed 10 frame is 10, and this is 2 less. So 2 less is going to be 8.